we're going to have some fun with Photoshop CC's new feature, Perspective Warp. What we're going to do with it is we're going to take this image here, which is Nighthawks by Edward Hopper, and we're going to make it look like it's uh, been made into panels that fold out. Let's take a look here. So here's my panels, and then we're going to use our adjustment layers to uh, emphasize it a little bit more. All right, let's get rid of all these layers that we don't need, and we're going to start from scratch. So I'll just do a shift select, hit the trash. Yes, get rid of them. Here we go. Now we're going to make a copy of the background layer. So I'll drag that on top of the new icon, and we'll work with this. Let me turn off the background layer. So another thing you're going to learn today is about this nice extension I got called Guide Guide. Let's see how that works. Because in order to use our warp here, we're going to uh, put some guides in here to help us. So here's my extension here called Guide Guide. Let's open this up. So I already typed in what we need. We need, I'm going to do eight panels. So I have eight columns here and one row. Let me click on the GG button here and let's see what we get. So there we go. So this draws it all nicely for us. And also another help too uh, while you're working, if you're working with something that's an unusual size, you can come up to your rulers and change your units to percent. That's also pretty handy. If we ever want to get rid of our guides, we just click the little clear guides and they're gone. I'll click this and they're back. Now to get this extension, let me open up my uh, Google Chrome here. Uh, this is all we need. We need, uh, need to go to guideguide.me and just follow the instructions and it's pretty easy. So great, nice, free extension. Okay, now what we're gonna do, go back to my layers here. We're going to open up the perspective warp. So that you'll find under edit, perspective warp. Okay, here's our tool that we're going to start off with. So what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, some grids over here. If I click in the middle, this will move the entire grid. Now these corners will move independently. If you want to move the entire side, just click and drag the side. Let me fix my corner here. And we can drag this down. And we can fix up the corner by dragging the little handles here. Then we're going to do this for each one. Let me show you one more here. I'll click and drag. And now you see that line turns blue. So that means when I let go, these two grids are going to be perfectly connected. Oops, I moved. Let's try it again. Oh, there we go. See, it turns blue. Now when I let go, they become nicely connected. So what I have to do is repeat this for the rest of my image here. I'll just do one more. And then I'll pause the video and finish it off. There we go. Okay, let me pause. I'm back. Uh, so now we have what's called our layout. So now what we have to do is we have to do our warp. Uh, I'm going to draw another guide here or drag down another guide. This way we can do these things evenly. Put one on the bottom also. They don't have to be equal distance from the edge. Depending on It depends on the perspective you want to show. All right, now I'm going to go to my warp here. Now I'm just going to pull down each of these little buttons here. And here we go. So now they're starting to look like panels. Drag this up. And also, you can also imagine you might you want to do this if you like doing um, like a trifold uh, brochure. In InDesign or something like that, you can save the pages as a JPEG or a PNG, come into Photoshop, and you can make like a mock-up uh, 
trifold so your client can see what it's going to look like. All right, so now we did our warp. The next thing we're going to do, oh, first of all, we have to finalize it. So up here, we have some controls here. This check will finalize it. This will cancel it, and this will reset it. So I don't want to do that. Uh, let me click the check mark. There we go. Now, I want to make the panels light and dark. So it looks like it's being lit, and this will also exaggerate the idea that these are panels. So I'm going to use my guides again. Let's open up my layer panel here. Oh, actually, I'm going to make my selection first. And then when I use my adjustment layer, Photoshop will use those selections as a mask. So I'm going to do every other panel here. So let's do this one. Hold down the shift. Skip the next one. Go to the third one. All right. So again, I'm going to pause the video as I do this. So I'll, I'll just be holding down the shift key and making some rectangular selections here. Okay, uh, let's get our layer panels out again. So I made some selections here. So now when I use my adjustment layer, I'll use levels. The areas that are selected will be used as a mask. Go to levels, the second one here. Let's play with the slider. Okay, so now this will look like the light is coming from the left. These panels are in shadow and these panels are in, in, the, in the light here. All right, that looks good. Get my layers out again. So you can see here's my adjustment layer and here's the mask that was made. Now, if you want to exaggerate it even more, you can make the uh, opposite panels a little bit lighter. And this, we don't, we don't have to make our mask again. I'll make a copy of uh, my levels adjustment here. The easiest way to copy a layer is just to do Control J or Command J on the Mac. So here we go. So now this is exaggerating what we have already. So we don't want that. I'll double click in the mask area. This brings up my mask. So what I want is I want the reverse of what we already have. So I'll click invert. And now we just have to change our adjustment because now everything is getting darker. Double click on that and pull my slider the other way. So now those panels are getting lighter. All right, so that's about it. Well, you can take it even a little further if you like, but I think you get the idea. Let's turn off my guide, see what we got. So I think that looks pretty good. It's kind of fun. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this. And that's it for today. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye.